Here we go. Gar PR number 37 versus Gar PR number 38. Ooh. Thankfully, they're actually in the right ports yeah. in this set. This is going to be a good set. So they strike to Dreamland. Um, kind of, well, I could see Falco wanting to go here, but I think this is definitely something Falcon is going to be a bit happier about. Tyler definitely, or Tyro, excuse me, definitely likes the space. Um, I wouldn't say he's a laser heavy Falco, but he definitely likes uh, playing vertically, jumping out of bad situations, going to the top platform. So. Now, I know Falcon loves to run a lot around, like, he loves, I feel like he loves streamlining against a lot of characters. Right. Is that true against, like, a lasering Falco, too? Does the same thing apply, or does he want to be in close most of the time? I feel like he, it can, Dreamlane can be good or bad against Falco. Like, yeah, if the Falco is really just going to commit to lasering and not interacting, then this can get pretty annoying. But Falcon definitely has good movement options on the platforms to kind of get around laser spam. But if the Falco wants to fight Falcon, then Dreamlane's really good because of the blast zones will allow him to live for a long time compared to other stages. Whereas Falco will just die really easily, regardless of how big the stage is. So we got a Chi on the mic. Hello. Hello. So what we're seeing a lot of we're seeing a lot of attacking and not a lot of protecting. <laughs> I um what do you think both characters want to do more in this matchup? Uh Falco needs to find a way around Falco zoning. Right. And Falco just I think Falco generally kinda wants to land. But, I mean, it's like tech chasing. Every character can tech chase Falcon pretty reliably, and Falcon's no exception. So you should start, try to start tech chase with down air. But Falcon's also like pretty heavy, so it's easy for you to get shine combos on him. It's kind of weird that Tyro's playing so vertically, because that's uh, just his style, I think. That is, but like it's just not advisable against Falcon because he right. just snipes you with up air. Yeah, like Ty Tyro definitely has modes where he'll like laser a lot and he'll, where he'll just like try to fight you, and he's definitely just trying to fight Oso here. Um, which isn't going horribly, but Falcon, I feel like Falco has to make Falcon deal with lasers. Like, prove that you can get around yeah. Falco lasers, and then you can sort of work on these sort of mid-stage It is a little bit spooky, though, for, Fal uh, for Falco versus Falcon, because when he shoots, if the Falcon can get a knockdown, like, so probably right, like around 40 or 50% with Nair, yeah. then it's pretty scary. And similarly, like if if you if you're caught like lasering and Falcon gets around you somehow and you're like he gets close to you, then it's really really scary because he can grab yours. Yeah, that's true. So he gets the down throw knee there. Um, pretty convincing win for Oso. I would like to see Tyro pick a stage that is more conducive to the way he wants to play this match. Probably matchup. Stadium. Well, um, actually, well the mm. way he likes to play is so probably Yoshi's. Yeah, I would say he wants to go Yoshi's, and if it's banned, Fountain. Yeah. Oh, okay. He likes to stage a lot. I wonder if he's going to be okay. So he starts out shooting, but now he has stopped shooting. Uh, Oso misses Zell cancel. Oso attacking a lot here. Um, I mean, Tyro not really like protecting himself very well either. So. Right. I mean, he's trying to, but not really. Oh. You have a, got to use your moves as Falco. That is like zero to death. Yes. So he's like shooting and then going to attacks, so that's fine, but like at some point you need to make the Falcon come to you. So and you can do that even though you're not in the lead. Okay, that was a good combo. Alright, he's gotta clean this up though. Tyro's being a little slow today in terms of acting out of stuff. Oh that's great. Okay. And he gets a zero to death himself, alright, so. Very slow. Okay. Yeah, now he's going back to this weird vertical style. I don't Oh, it was good. Yeah, now he's up close. He's trying to force the pressure situation. This is Ooh. a better game plan from Tyro, I think. Up tilt, up tilt, up smash. Only on Falcon. Oh, great DI uh, by Osa to the ledge there. Oh. The awkwardness of uh, Fountain coming into play. Hard. Yeah, I like. I want. I don't know how good Oso is at sort of maneuvering around weird platform heights. And a lot of people say that this can be a good Falcon stage if the Falcon has good movement. Yeah. But um, if not, it is sort of hard to get your usual combos. And Tyro cleaning up that next stock. Um, He's got to be careful, though, because if he, I mean, not like Falcon can do really much, but uh, he did not have a great time tech chasing that stock, so he needs to kind of clean up his punish game if he wants to. A lot of sort of trades in center stage. No, no uh, kind of decisive neutral wins for either player. Oh, but this should be it. Oh, and he goes oh, for the... That be it, yeah. And he still gets it. Yeah. yeah, you see now Tyro using a lot more lasers to kind of make uh, Oso come to him, and then using his zoning tools like up tilt back air. And now he's getting these shine combos also, which are really critical on Falcon. Good. 
So now Oso vertically displaced against Tyro, and Tyro coming down with the back air. That's a pretty good spot for Falco. He can't really beat Falco's back air straight up as Falcon. Oh my gosh, what is big, happening? Big damage. Okay. Wall jump up B. Not a lot Falcon can really do to kind of actively edge guard Falco without putting himself in dangerous spots. Okay, so three stock back but and forth. Gets the three stock right back at him. Can you uh, update the overlay? Yeah. Thank you. It's up. It's like up there. And they go to battlefield. All right. So probably the most neutral stage in this matchup, I would say. Yep. Good game three stage. Yeah, nice back there from Tyre. That's, that's the kind of stuff I want to see from him, being able to keep Oso out. That's really good down here. Good uh, wave lane to gra grab ledge there. Tyro looking a little more comfortable here with his movement and execution in general. It's the shine combo. Uh, Falcon could be dead here, oh, but he goes for the hard read. Okay, tech chase. Good set up. Oh, I like that. Shine stall. So a little slow on that throw. This is the ledge there. It's unfortunate. He definitely thought he was going to grab it. Waited too long to up B. Yeah, I like that. Oso is really patient about keeping a stage and uh, cutting Tyra off when when he tried to get out of the corner. Yeah, Oso is holding center well when he has it. Um, okay, Kai Chase. Good grab. I, well, I I think I think at this percent, this is the percent where it starts getting risky to tech roll towards the ledge. But I generally think that Tyro should have maybe tried going towards the ledge so as to like stop the tech chase and stop like. I feel like I feel like he should do it until Oso punishes him for it. It's like one of those things that you gotta make them show you they can deal with it. Because if not, it's just too good. Not that it's hard to deal with, but that if you can get away with it, you you know do yeah. it every time. Oso definitely getting a little bit antsy because he keeps. Uh, oh, excellent tech. Excellent That's going to save him there. Oh, but Oso's definitely getting a little bit antsy because Tyro's like up there and Oso is like just kind of trying to get him up there with up air without any sort of setup at all. And that's that's a sign that, you know, of a player that's like trying to rush things. Look at that. See, he's just trying to go up there and get him. He just wants to hit him. Right, yeah. he wants to hit him, but that's not that's not really how you can get Falco, especially he's when you're going to lead into too much. Yeah. Though he is at a percent where he can smash the guy the down or downwards and potentially get a punish. So, okay, nice tech chase there. Tyro, upwards recovery. Mm, yeah. That could have been ledge hop there. All right, Tyro doing a good job of holding his space too now, though. Not necessarily yeah. cornering Falcon, but just when he's in the corner, not panicking to get out. And we got an even game here. Yeah, these zoning stingers from Tyro, the full hop laser is now trying to tech chase. Interesting. Shine on shield, shield grab, down okay, throw. So Oso's gone to that uh, F throw mix up a couple times, but he hasn't set it up really. Uh, he hasn't really set it up really uh, well because he just keeps turning around trying to get the ba uh, instant back air to, mm -hmm. to scout the double jump. But you need you need a way to convince the Falco against going like low again in that situation. Those were that was a good series of techs and spot dodges by Tyro there to get out of um, potential tech chase situation. Yeah. Now also being a little bit more patient when Tyro is up uh, on the top platform, but his percentage is a little bit too high for that to to work out consistently in his favor. And Falcon in a bad position here, but he gets the up B man grab. Tyro's edge guards have not been amazing this set. No, I'd really like to see him just do like auto cancel bear up till walls. He's too it, focused like, on on shooting the lasers to influence Falco Falcon's recovery path. Yeah. But like once you establish the threat of the laser, you can fake it by fast falling and then set up for the uh, for the ledge situation. Because mm -hmm. Falcon can only aim for the ledge really, or he can or he has to like take a risk by going to the stage. Right. Good tech chase there by uh, Oso. Tried to go for that approaching up air. Very strange from Falcon. We said that a couple times now where, where Tyro's tech rolled on the platform and Oso's not had a great plan to counteract it. He's just instead got this weird like up air that's kind of sort of put Tyro towards the edge of the stage, but not really. Mm -hmm. So Something that uh, Mike does a lot is like stomp to platform tech chase, which yeah. is insane that that works, but the stomp hitbox is so big that right. if you were to look at it, it would make sense. I'm um, not sure if he's aware of that piece of technology. That was such a great dash dance to bait the nair Ooh, from the platform is this there. this it? Is this a zero to death? No, he shines out, and this uh, could be bad. That should be it. All right. Good yeah. stuff to Tyro, taking that 2-1. 
And I now think I have to play him. Or so? Okay. Or Tyro. Tyro. Yeah. Uh, you should probably wait for losers matches first, actually. You, gotta play. you should you should wait for some losers matches. Oh, right now. I'm saying there's hella matches and losers that have to be played. Like, look at this. Like, I... So we have a while. We have a while. I love these mics. What's up, guys? I love these mics so much. Yeah, this is a... Uh, real talk, I like these headsets a lot more than the ones that Recursion gives us, because they... Well, I, those aren't bad, but, like, these ones are really, really comfortable. It's because they're light. Yeah. The ones of Recursion have some weight on them. I like them both, though, but... Okay, so this is Hi-Fi versus Tyro. Let me change the names here. Uh, Alex, what do you think about this matchup? Oh, I think we actually played this a bunch last night uh, between me and Graham. I think Falco destroys Puff in neutral. I'm going to be honest. I think it's just his issue is finding kills. If he had an up throw up air that was like Fox's, or if he was a little, maybe it's like, I know it sounds hilarious, but if he was a little faster when he needed to yeah. be in kill percentages, he would destroy Puff. It would be worse than Fox. Yeah. Uh, his lasers completely shut down her approach options if you're smart with them. I think at this level, P uh, Falco most certainly wins, and it's because it's hard for, it's really hard for Puff to find, like, have subtle patterns, like, to influence the Falco to come in, and it's also like, I, like, HBox is so amazing at certain things. I feel the opposite. I feel like it's, Puff is way closer to winning, if not winning, at this level, just because Falcons don't shoot good lasers at this level. Oh, and that's, that's true. That's yeah, so that's, important. That's in this so matchup. important. I agree. Because if like you shoot a laser, like let's say you. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. 